very descriptive of you. Thank, Thank you. you. I've been watching a lot of videos about paleontology too. I'm I'm so let glad. Your, let your influences shape you. Three, the History two, Channel is beautiful one, thing. Go, All right, here All we right. go. Yep. It's a shulk this time. Don't see much. Don't see much shulk even even online, but. I mean, I have high opinions of this character. I The thing is, I think everybody has high opinions of Shulk, but very few people are willing to put in the time, effort, and dedication to seeing that sort of potential realized. He is one of, if not the most technical characters in the game, but what really is at the core of that technicality is the dynamism of the character. The fact that Monados can let him change up his game plan for any given moment, even in the middle of a moment itself, change from one art to the other. And at this moment, though, Luigi just doesn't, he's like, I don't care if you're fast now. I don't care if you do damage now. I, I'm, I'm going to just, I'm going to do what I need to, and I'm going to hit you. Yeah, if there's anything to say about, like, Shulk's just premier weaknesses is that some of his more primary neutral moves have a lot of startup on them uh, coming out a little bit later despite how safe they are and we fit while numbers can show off how good she is at uh how good she is at comboing how good she is at planking and uh, louis jesus really makes use of how good this character is in scramble situations having a lot of quick uh, quick tilts that do a lot of knockback and that's been getting him so much uh, ground in the start of this game, and he's been he's been taking this lead to the next level, not giving up any single like any weakness. By the way, I just want to point out, Louis Jesus is here after taking a win over. Oh, oh my God! I didn't even look at bracket. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's a, well, it's definitely an upset by seed, but this bracket is already so stacked. Uh, I don't know if they heard you, Devin. They did, don't worry. Okay, cool. But that's, yeah, that's a pretty huge win. Louis Jesus has been popping off recently with some of the, with some of the wins, getting even a, a full, a full Xeno win under his belt, I believe, a couple weeks ago. At least so one, yeah. So he's been flying recently, and it's showing off right here. 186 to 102, a whole stock down. He'll die to a well-placed sneeze at this point. Well, we fit trainer. She does exercise her sneezes. It's a whole, it's a whole breathing true. exercise. Wow, he died. Smash art, everybody. <laughs> Granted, he. Honestly, was why not just be? Down. If you're, if you're, if you're at 199 and a sneeze is gonna kill you anyway, you might as well just stay in smash art. Even if you know, you, one of the things about smash art actually is you do decreased damage. Uh, fun little fact. Really. Yeah, every art has back, which can also be a benefit depending on how you feel like uh, buster art reduces knockback that you give and also your opponent gives to you while it does increase damage so it can be good to just switch to buster art when you have high damage alas it's gonna take a lot more than a, a simple change in art to bring virgo back into this game he needs to he needs to go off stage every uh, one of these days just to mix up Louis jesus he did save his jump though like that cute little edge guard strategy using the hula hoops. Um, and oh, okay, good DI managing to get onto the stage before that down air connected. But yeah, at this point, Luigi's just kind of just showing why he's been one of the real dominant forces in the New York online scene lately. It is 66% able to land those down airs consistently. I'm wondering what it is about the down air specifically. Maybe that it like kind of covers a blind spot and chokes hitboxes normally? Because he's been landing quite a few of them. I, you know, I can't really say for sure, but when you're playing as good as Louis Jesus had been throughout that game, things just start to... It's like, what if I do this? Oh, yeah, it hit. Sick. All right, it, it whiffed there, but you know what? So did so did Virgo. So everything works out just fine in the end. And if there's anything to say about Louis Jesus uh, and how this first game is going, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a little bit of a sleeper upset as we head into top eight, of which this is a top eight winner side qualifier. Gotta gotta look out for. For the for the Louis Jesus as he speaking makes of a top eight, huge yeah, win. top speaking huge of top game one. eight, 
Matcherino, guys. We got to get that number up there so that we can get top eight payout. Uh, the number, it's going up, but it's up to you guys to make that number shoot. Yeah, you see a go use promo code only lands to add $50 to the pot for 50 free. Cents. I don't even understand how it works. How, how does it work? I don't and get it. <laughs> you just go into, you You can type in Matcharino, uh, exclamation point Matcharino, follow that link and go using the promo code only lands in the field that it absolutely provides 50 cents right from Matcharino into this pot. All, it's all you need to do. It co costs nothing except your time. All right. Now we actually have to counterpick two Smashville. A little interesting because as we saw before uh, with numbers versus MJ, uh, numbers managed to use that middle platform on Smashville to get some really devastating combos. Uh, so I'm wondering exactly what Burgo's thought process is here in counterpicking Luigi's just to this stage. Honestly, this just feels like a really good stage for coverage. And I think Shulk's Nair covers basically the entire corner that he's residing, and especially if Luigi's is trying to, uh, to make all of these reversals off of ledge. Interesting that he stuck around in jump. Oh, okay, that way, never mind. That's why he was looking for the up air to connect so he could combo it into another one and kill him. Uh, Shulk, keeping keeping an eye on Shulk's arts it often can give away what his game plan is as the backer sneaks so low and catches Louis Jesus as he's crouching. He actually went for a down tilt right there, and the fact that, like, just great awareness of what move he actually needed to use. The fact that it was the late down, the late back air specifically, you know, honestly, seemed like a prediction on his part, not just a randomly thrown out aerial. That's one thing about Shulk is that, depending on the position, you can't get away with just throwing out an aerial. Like, his, it, it, the moves take a while to come out. They're very long-lasting, but, you know, if your opponent is able to intercept or they're able to just, you know get around it leaves it kind of vulnerable so i would, I would say they're parry fodder but also neutral air is minus two so <laughs> doesn't matter if you parry it sometimes wow he's really hunting up for these up airs which is not something you usually see from uh from shulk most of the time like smash art fair is enough to it's a gateway drug it's enough to get a to get Shulk players feeling feeling it, feeling like they're heading through with this set, but Luigi is start to, starting to pull this game back together. One more, no, he went for Nutria, trying to cover. A lot of the slow startup really proving in uh, Virgo's favor at the moment. Really? Hello? Ow. If he just took that forward smash, I'm pretty sure he would have lived, right? Uh. He was in jump art, Ooh. but I think so. But yeah, I mean, he even it up really quick. You don't want to let momentum slide out of your uh, out of your reach even further after a after a shield break, which can just it can stuff your mojo pretty quickly if you're getting shield broken. A quick sh switch into shield, uh, making sure he has the uh, the dial storage on deck. Oh no, he's just switching now. Oh, the down with with uh, Buster. They were so oh wow, switching to smash at just the perfect moment to be able to outspace that move forward smash, killing at around what was that fifty percent or so. Totally, totally. Game one was so dominantly Luigi's. I didn't think that. Uh, I don't think Virgo had a chance based on that game one. Game two, though, you see that this player really knows what he's doing. Oh, just knew that he wanted to get that landing neutral air. Just outspaces it perfectly, and all of that strength, that power behind that forward smash, absolutely destroying Luigi's his last stock. Yeah, you know, we were talking about shield pressure, but Buster Art doesn't just it doesn't just increase the damage Shulk does or the damage Shulk does to him. All right, people do to Shulk. It also increases shield damage that Shulk can do. So by popping a down air and that full combo on starting on Luigi's block, that's in like incredibly huge. It, and at the very least, it made Luigi's want to start coming down and start swinging with a some form of aerial. Namely, that downer, which had worked so many times in that game one, got Fresh caught shift. doing it game can, two. Because I can use a refresher. Uh, jump mode, do you, does the, do you take more damage if you're Shulk? 
yeah, in jump art, uh, damage. Does that include the shield? Does that include the shield? I don't know. Because it might have been that the only reason that shield break was possible because he was in jump at that moment. I know he takes more uh, damage and knockback, but I'm not sure if he takes more. Oh, man. <laughs> oh. That's not how you want to start game three. <laughs> it's, it's a bold strategy. <laughs> see if it works out for him. It's a shame, too, because he went into up B and speed art, which I don't believe you can do the second slash of air slash while you're in speed art. But that's... Oh no. And you and we're back on PS2, a, a home for many tri-state players, and Luigi just looks so comfortable on this stage. Yeah, and now we're seeing those downers come out again. That you're right that it might be a confidence thing, but it also it seems like he's just it's like the gaps in between those uh hitboxes from Shulk or when he's managing to unleash a down air to get a big spike on him on stage. He's, he's landing with neutral air though, and he's got to start something. He's looking to really stuff out on ledge, but gets caught full hopping. Oh. Things are going from bad to worse if you're Virgo. Uh, yes, Joe Pone, they can. Oh, well, a little bit of uh, karmic justice. I would not call it equivalent in the slightest, but Luigi just does lose his stock right there. Um, but there's still so much that Virgo needs to do. I mean, at this point, he needs to start getting damage. He's going for these riskier options with the up -bees, And Luigi is just, for the most part, spacing outside of his range. He has so much of a lead that if he wants to, he can just not engage. Heck, he even heal up some of the damage he's taken. But if there's any character that can swing this back from nothing it it's a character like shulk but you're in smash art there sir yeah that's that's gonna be the end of the game remember kids if you are in if you're playing shulk tap the b button three times to cancel whatever art you're in it uh, it could save your life like it did like it could have for virgo right here because this free fall like he's only at 70 but we fits kind of strong i'm actually wondering if there was maybe because he was probably trying to drift to the ledge so he might have also been dying oh, out true. at the same time